Hey guys, Old Beauty Cars Workshop. Well, here's my next uh, project. This is for the uh, uh, this is for Gary's um, channel, the the bomb shelter. He's putting on the uh, box stock build, and here's my entry: 79 Kawasaki KH KH4 400 A7. Uh, I've never seen one of these in my life, but I do like the. Uh, old nostalgic crotch rockets of back in the day, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, I really like the 70s bikes for sure, one of my favorites. But that's, this is actually a pretty nice machine because it was a three-cylinder. And uh, yeah, it's a um, very, very interesting kind of machine, motorcycle. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure they had, I'm pretty sure they had their problems too, but, but it's a 112 scale, uh, has a Gawa kit. Uh, I like the Hazagawa kits, they're pretty well detailed and such. So, so pretty, actually, a very interesting. Um, look at the tires, nothing pretty skinny, eh? <laughs> Must get good gas mileage. Um, three cylinder, and actually, you can notice that the detail, get my pen here. You notice the detail here is this side has two pipes and this and like the uh, I mean the passenger passengers I mean, the right side has two pipes and the uh, and the left side here has one one exhaust pipe so kind of a kind of a weird design I mean why didn't they just have one one muffler per side right but you know that was their their way of doing it I guess high flow. Uh, exhaust them, but um, you know, it's really, these kits here you have to build in stock because there really no, there really isn't no aftermarket for these, and the, actually the best best way to build them is stock. So yeah, it's a good kit. I've been eyeing it up in my in my stash for quite a while, and I thought, hmm, when am I going to build this? And this is a perfect opportunity to build this bike for Gary's group build. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to start on it here pretty quick. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll show you what's on the inside. I want to see too. So, get open. So, but you know, it's um, as you guys know, how the Gel kits are pretty detailed. Oh, that's, some, that's interesting. Oh, actually, some of the plastic is green too. You see that? Some green plastic in there. That's kind of cool. Yes. So that means I'm not have to paint anything. <laughs> cool. So yeah. Well, I mean, like, I mean, back in the old days, I mean, all of us were the same kind of thing. I mean, we all did models, and you know, some of us, some, sometimes the plastic in the model looks so good. Why bother painting it? It was actually it was black or yellow or red or whatever color it was. We just left it the way it was, right? I mean, I did that. Uh, I think I had, I don't know, I think I painted, uh, I don't remember now, but when back when I had a um, model, I don't remember what the hell it was now, it was a, um, it was a 68, 68, uh, I think it was 68, it was like mid-60s uh, Chevy Nova, the Chevy, Chevy 2 Nova, and that was in the blue, blue or white, I can't remember, I, think, I can't remember now, it was either, blue, either, either with blue or white plastic. But I remember, um, uh, wait a minute, was it even red? Oh, I, it's been such a long time. But anyways, I built it the way it was. It was in its natural um, color of plastic. And then one of my cousins says to me, oh, just uh, put some wax on it. So we waxed it up and it actually looked pretty shiny the way it was, like factory plastic, right? So anyways, it looks cool. I mean, you know, you don't always have to uh, paint, um, paint the models, I mean, sometimes they were just good the way they were. And sometimes, you know, the colors you wanted to paint it, or thinking about paint it, were the color of the plastic. So, that's good enough, right? So, it's going to be very, very hard to build this kit as is, because a lot of it is in chrome, which shouldn't be, should be in black. So, um, anyways, we're going to build it as it is, box stock. We're not going to do anything fancy, no doll coat. Like Gary said, and uh, go that route, you know, build it as we were if we were 
uh, when we started. I started building models when I was um, at least 10 years old, at least 10. So as soon as I get an exacto knife in my hand, I think probably when I started building models. But uh, yeah, so man, time sure flies, eh? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, when I'm building this kit, I will be putting up um, other detailed stuff, what I've done and such to satisfy Gary and everyone else who does the model build. And uh, hopefully, it was a big turnout for uh, building building box stock build. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't build I don't build box stock models very often. <laughs> Pretty rare that I do, but the odd occasion, the odd occasion you have no choice but to build it box stock. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, stay tuned for updates on this project. I think Ga I think Gary gave us um, like December or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's already pretty mid-November almost. So um, yeah, no problem. Just a little bit longer. We we'll have to go a little bit longer. No big deal. So oh man, oh, some of these parts here actually are in chrome. Interesting. So anyways, we're going to have to deal with that and just go with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See ya.